Hi guys, Alice Taylor down at Lytham Golf Academy and we're going to look at how the lie angle of your irons affects your golf shots. Right then guys, so like I said, we're going to look at how the lie angle of your irons could be affecting your golf shots. If you're enjoying the video, subscribe already. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment box underneath so I can get back to you. So first things first, what is the lie angle of the club? Particularly with the iron, it is the angle that's created between the ground and the shaft of the club. And a lot of golfers are massively caught up with how this looks at a dress. And even though visually that can make a little bit of a difference, the most important thing is what that lie angle is like at impact. So ideally what we're looking for is at impact that club will come back perfectly flat to the ground and that will encourage the club face to be looking straight towards the target. Obviously you've got to control where the club face is and the path, but if the lie angle's good, it gives you the best opportunity of getting the club face pointing at the target. Often what I see with golfers though is that the toe is down or the heel is down. Now the problem being if the toe is down, even though the club face can be looking at the target, because of the loft of the club face, it's actually looking to right of target and then conversely, if we're heel down and toe up, the club face is actually looking to the left. So in theory, you could be making some great swings and because the lie angle of your irons is incorrect, the ball might not be going where you would expect. So I'm gonna hit five shots. I know what my setup is and I'm gonna use the ping irons for these because they've got the different color codes. So normally I'm half inch longer at green color code, which is two degrees upright. So I'm gonna use five shots with orange, which is two degrees flat, and I'm gonna use five, uh, five shots with silver, which is four degrees upright. Now I'm gonna aim nice and straight, so I would normally see my shot probably curve maybe eight, eight yards to the left, and we're gonna see what difference the lie angle makes in the curvature of the shots, if any, and maybe how I react differently with my swing to kind of compensate for those lie angles. Right then guys, so I've got orange lie angle to begin with, and this just sits massively different for me. I mean, I can almost see the heel sitting up off the ground even at a dress. But five shots, real balls, and let's see how the lie angle of the irons affects my shots. So straight away, noticeable that no curl there. If anything, that one just kind of, even though I'm aiming straight, that one's setting off a little right and just staying there. That one trying to get back. Pretty still down here today, so from what GC Quad's showing me, what isn't massively different to what the real ball flight's doing. Oh, I definitely feel that I've overcompensated for that and got that one going a little bit more left. But don't really have an issue striking it with the line angle being different for me. does feel massively different. And that can be the tough thing, you know, you could be hitting some great shots with the lie angles wrong, but then when you're getting onto your hybrids and your, your, your metal woods and your driver, could be having some real issues because you don't need to make the same compensation. But certainly, a couple turning over, three staying out to the right. So like I said, that's probably four degrees off where I would normally be. So let's switch across now onto silver, which would be a couple more upright than me. Now I would suspect, bearing in mind I already hit it right to left with mine, I would suspect this would curve quite a little bit more. And certainly at a dress, it's massively different. You can really see a lot of the toes sitting up in the air. Ooh, and that is much, much further left. Certainly than those first ones. So shot two. Yeah, definitely wouldn't find it difficult hitting it left with this kind of setup. Not sure how easy it'd be for me to hit little fades with this one. I mean, very, very consistent 
a long way left with everything but very consistent compared to the other lie angle. Now for me, a lot of guys I see, we end up fitting into slightly more upright irons. Doesn't necessarily mean that you will be, but certainly for this four degrees upright for me, just feels like I'd never miss anything out to the right. Might miss quite a lot left, but right, one final one. And again, yeah, very consistent round to the left. So two massively different setup of irons there, one at four degrees upright, one at two degrees flat. So a six degree change in lie angle. Certainly for me felt very different, kind of an impact and the, the flight of the balls was incredibly different. So let's go across, look at kind of how the iron was delivered, look at the shape of shot and see what difference the lie angle of your irons makes. Okay then guys, so let's look at a few of the screenshots as to particularly with the orange, how the club was being delivered. So hitting two degree, uh, three and a half degrees down, swinging a little bit from the inside with the club face closed as per normal. We can see there though 4.3 degrees toe down on that particular shot. Now as we move across onto the silver colour code, we can see still hitting down the same little bit more from the inside and this shot I was a little bit more closed with the club face but we can see the toe 1.2 degrees toe up. Now if we look at the shots when we go on orange colour code we've got three that just stayed slightly to the right and a couple that curved more to the left and we can see with the silver colour code everything much more to the left but much more consistent a shot. And if we look at all the shots, we can see ball speed very consistent at 115 mile an hour. Spin wasn't massively different. Peak height was a little bit kind of lower on the ones that went to the left. But we had an average miss of 25 yards left compared to just two degrees left. So really the lie angle of the club making a massive difference with where that ball ends up. So guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, like and share it, comment below and I'll get back to as many of you as I can. Subscribe to the channel if you don't already. Follow me on all my social media platforms, all under Ali Taylor Golf. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here in the future. Stay in contact.